Hello, everybody. Um, it's uh, almost 3 a.m. on the East Coast. And uh, I was dozing off, but um, I wanted to do this video because I, ha I just had this idea and um, I wanted to um, discuss it. Uh, life is just a never-ending battle of wants. Wants, wants, wants. And uh, recently, on my trip to Mexico, um, um, you know, the trip was really difficult for, for many reasons. Um, the the um, streets, the, the curbs were extremely high. Up to 15 inches, actually. And um, I'm really short. I'm about 5'1". And... For me to have to, you know, navigate the, the streets um, with, with, with such high curbs was very difficult. And the curbs were designed like that to prevent flooding. But, um, so, amongst other difficulties um, was um, rain. Rain was um, ongoing in a particular region that I was at. Although there were some dry days um, in the first city that I stayed at. But in regards to the wants, my, my um, Spanish, uh, my understanding of Spanish is getting better. Um, however, per I'm, I'm failing at pronunciation, which I thought was better than it was. And this is an ongoing frustration of mine. And um, this is something that I really, really want is to be able to speak Spanish well. But not only speak it well, but I want to know every word in Spanish. I want to know how to say every nut, for example. Walnut, pecan, macadamia, pine nut, um... And, you know, pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds and puppy seeds. I want to know everything. I want to be able to learn how to read a Spanish cookbook, for example. Um, I want to be able to learn Spanish so well that I know the different accents from Spanish being spoken um, from Spain from the Dominican, from um, Central America, from South America, from Mexico, from different parts of Mexico. Like, it's never ending, like, these wants, and I, I mean, they're, they're never, it's unattainable. And, I mean, call it a dream or not, but to me it's frustrating to me just simply having these goals and having these aspirations to do something actually blocks me from getting anything done i mean i could have already taken many conversational spanish lessons by now i've taken um some duolingo courses and i took a course in texas and houston um, but, um, my background was in French in high school, but as old as I am, I could have already been proficient in Spanish if, if it was, I, I don't know, like if it was a, a priority, I guess that's all it is. It's, um, I, I really regret that in my country, um, English second language, ASL, is free to immigrants. You can learn to speak English if you are an immigrant. But we do not have access to taking Spanish lessons. And I would love to be able to speak fluent Spanish. But not only that, 
I want to speak it fast. I want to speak it fast like those Spanish, um, uh, his Hispanic, um, Latin soap operas. Um, try watching one of those someday. They, those women speak so fast and, and, you know, so strong. And, and I really, really like that. So I have this infatuation with, you know, um, the Latin culture. And I'm not really sure why, unless it's um, my uh, affiliation with Texas and upbringing in Texas. But I do romanticize um, the Spanish culture. Everything, really, about the Spanish culture. But um, life is just a never-ending battle of wants. And, like, I, I mean... I, I want this like level of perfection and I want to do it all and I want to do it, uh, you know, I want to learn it all, be it all. Um, you know, I want to know the history of like <laughs> when I, when I look at maps of, of like Mexico, like it's just never ending. Like I want to go to this place and that place and um, uh, there's a, a city or there's a, state in uh, Mexico called Agua Calientes. And that's one of the places I just want to go. And every time I look at maps of Mexico, I just, I just dream of being everywhere and seeing everything and doing everything. And it's impossible. And life just sets you up to such failure. Because we can't be everywhere at all times. We can't, we can't see it all. We can't do it all. We can't be everywhere. We can't see every lake, every beach, every uh, cathedral, every um, um, cenote. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just life is just overwhelming and it's just so pointless. And like <laughs> every day... <laughs> You know, like today I was doing some protesting or out street street outreach, if you will. And as cars were passing by, I was just thinking everybody is just either staring out the window or driving or looking at their cell phone. And we are just the most mindless like people. People are just mindless beings. We're just walking around. Just literally just walking around in this world. Literally doing nothing. Whether we're eating. Whether we're on the internet. Whether we're driving. Whether we're cooking. We're, just, we're really just doing nothing. We're just like, you know, spinning around. Spinning around, 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 around. This, you know, hamster wheel. And um, just not getting anything done. But um, the, the the burden of wanting things is burdening. It's it's a lot of baggage to carry when you want more. And no matter what it is in life, you always want more of it. And um, uh, like. I was in this makeup makeup section of a store in Mexico, and there were so many women just just loving all the new makeups and the designs of the packaging and the colors and the application. And I love makeup. I love buying it. I love playing with it. But it's never ending. Like you, you just want more. You want um, to try different colors, try different techniques. Um, different styles, different fashions. Um, it's just never ending. And uh, um, I mean, it just it just blows me away that we are all just placed here with just to face so many struggles and um, to um, you know to have to decide. To make, to make choices, to make decisions, and to make conscious decisions, and to stick with those decisions, and um, 
to be mature about the decisions that we do make and to be responsible. Oh, it's just, it's just mind boggling. And, um, I, I really need to get to sleep, but I guess I'll post this before I turn in for the night. Um, I don't know if I speak for everybody, but I know I speak for a lot of people and that we just want more of what we want. <laughs> so like, you know, if you like chips, you want more chips. If you like sweets, you want more sweets. Um, if you, you know, if you like, if you're a music lover, you want more music. If you love art, you want more art. You know, whatever you want more of, you want more of. Some people, I know a couple of people that I'm conversing with recently and uh, actually multiple people, multiple people are really, really into drugs, um, heavily into drugs. And um, that's, that's the kind of thing that they want. But everybody's wants are all the same. The fact that once you have something that you want and that you like, you're going to want more of it. And I want to see everything of Mexico. And I want to speak the language fluently. And I just, I mean, I want to be able to write poetry in, in Spanish. And um, be able to decipher everything. And to know every word. And yes, everything. And... Now I am listening to the words of to the lyrics of Metaposa Trashinera. I can't even say it properly, but it's a song uh, written by uh, um, Mana Mana a uh, band, and I love the song. And I'm trying to pronunciate the words and the lyrics, but I'm having difficulty, and I'm doing it repetitively. But I want to get it perfect so I can sing the song. Um, but uh, once you find what you like in life, you want more and more and more and more of it. Right? 